Hello and welcome to Hack Attack. My name is Jakob Hack. I'm your host and you're watching a Hack Attack episode. This is Phasemaker by Bram Bose. And today we're going to recreate that dub siren sound that I made for my 9 times Phasemaker project. I made two videos about that project. One in where I'm playing the actual track and then later on I made a very detailed longer video where I was going through all the sounds including the vocal channel. Right, so let me give you a listen. It's a very powerful sound and it really cuts through the mix. It's not only the synthesizer itself that makes this sound so powerful. It's actually a combination of a compressor and face maker. So stick with me and I'll show you how it's done. Let's mute the original siren and unmute this clean instance of face maker. Right, so the first thing we're going to do is to go into the program menu and we're going to turn down all of the volume knobs for each of the operators. So just turn these off because we don't need them. Well, not all of them. We're actually going to keep one volume knob straight up there. And now we've got a single operator running a simple sine wave. And we can see that by opening up the first operator. And here we're going to start by choosing the right type of waveform. Right now we've got a sine wave loaded and we need a square waveform. And the way you change waveforms is you simply tap it until you end up at the type of waveform you want. And there we are, square waveform loaded and it sounds like this. Okay, so right now it's at a very low octave and we need to get that up. And the way to do that is to tweak the course knob right here. And we're going to keep the ratio on. While I'm tweaking this, you'll be able to see in this window what number I'm going to end up at. That's the right pitch for it. Next, we're going to have a look at the envelope. And you can make the envelope window bigger by tapping in the middle at the magnifying glass. When you're done, you just press done. And we're gonna make sure that the attack is really strong. So we keep it at the upper far left corner. Now we need to increase the sustain of our envelope. And we can also make the decay a bit shorter. And we don't need that much release on our sound. That sounds about right. Press done when we're done. And now we can give our sound that jumping pitch characteristics. And to do that, we need access to the pitch envelope. And you can find that in the program menu right here. So a pitch envelope is basically just an envelope that controls the pitch of an oscillator. And in our case, our pitch envelope is an ADR envelope, attack, decay and release. Now to make our pitch envelope affect the pitch, we need to pull this either in positive mode or negative mode. And we're going to keep it in positive mode right up there. But it jumps in the wrong way. We're going to fix this with the attack knob. So pull the attack straight up to the maximum. And then the decay. Now it's got the right sound. Now our sound is almost done right now, but we need to add a bit more effects. And we find those effects in the LFO menu. I'm gonna pull down a bit on the chorus, pull the reverb straight up, increase the amount of the delay, and add a bit of time, pull down on the feedback. Beep, 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 beep. 
So we are done with the sound inside FaceMaker, but we're not done with the overall sound. There are two components to this sound, as I mentioned in the beginning, and it's FaceMaker itself and then a compressor. Now I'm using Cubase's here, but if you're using any other type of door, then I'm sure you'll find some compressor. And if it doesn't have a compressor, you can always use a compressor plugin. So I'm gonna load up Cubase's own compressor. This is the threshold level. And what the threshold does is it tells the compressor when to start working. For our dub siren, we need to overdo this, squash it completely. Now, if you're using Cubase's, when you load up a new compressor, always make sure to pull down the output volume because automatically it loads the compressor at 10 plus decibels, which could kill your ears. So the settings for the compressor is a pretty high ratio. We really want it to be squashed Washed. So I'm using a ratio of 1 to 10 and the attack should be really, really short and the release really, really long. That means we've got a high compression rate and it releases the compression very slowly. Now that is a sound you'll be able to hear through any mix. Even if you pull the level down, you'll still hear it, which also makes it a bit hard to mix sometimes. Thank you so much for watching. All comments and ratings are very much appreciated. I've also got a Patreon page, so if you want to support me in that way, you can find the address right here, and you can also find it down in the description, together with an app link for Cubase's and an app link for Brambose's Phasemaker. Now, if you somehow missed the nine times face maker project I made, you can find it in the box to the left here. And if you want to know more about that project, you can click on the box to the right. As usual, I wish you a very productive week. Now go finger all of your stuff and have a lot of fun doing it.